Uh, I've known uh, John for about five years now. He's a great guy. Amazing. Doesn't uh, stop doing what he loves to do, and uh, he's always fun to be around. We were actually surprised that John lived through what he went through because honestly, nobody actually thought he was going to. It turns out I had flesh-eating disease and they had to amputate my leg uh, above the knee. And um, my kidneys had stopped working. Uh, basically, my body had started to shut down as a defense mechanism against the disease. I remember like waking up in there like each day waking waking up and you're still in that hospital bed and uh, I had a picture and it was right, right across from the bed of my two little girls and seeing that every day is what would basically keep you going. What do you guys want to do when we get home? Because I mean you you feel like you're in this hospital bed, your, your, uh, your kidneys are failing, uh, you're getting blood taken from you every day and it's like what is keeping me going? Like, it, it was hard, definitely. And, but seeing that picture every day is what pretty much kept me going every day. Yeah, my family, I mean, they went through more than I did because I slept through quite a bit of it. So uh, for them to go through that, making decisions about, you know, it was my leg or my life, they made the right decision. I wasn't there to make it, so. Um, but the support at home through ever since it happened really uh, I mean it's, the kids are always helping out if I need help with something my wife's helping out my family my mom my father uh, friends everyone's uh, they're just glad to see me around still and uh, they do what they can if I if I even need the help so how did you start in facilities uh, my mom worked for the school board in facilities and uh, when the opportunity came up I applied for it and I got in. I was a casual for a couple of years, uh, working in all different schools, you know, sweeping, cleaning toilets. Yeah, I know the drill. The usual stuff. <laughs> and uh, then I um, was on the moving truck for a while, going from school to school, all over the school board. Eventually uh, back to cleaning schools again and then I got sick. And when he returned, he come back as an expediter. So he's classified as a lead hand. He's the guy we call to help us out with work orders, to follow up on things. Like, he's the guy in the office that when we're out on the road and we need somebody to look into something, it's John that gets the call. Facility Services, John Cartmel speaking. Your elevator's broke? Okay. Uh, what's wrong with it? Okay. And what floor is it on? Okay, I'll get a work order put in for that, okay? Thank you very much. Bye. I think a lot of them, for them, me being here, it's an inspiration, but at the same time, seeing that I'm not upset about it or just my attitude towards it, like I joke around. The stuff, I was always joking around about one leg and stuff like that, and everyone's just happy to see me here, I'm, I guess. So, how was your weekend, John? Oh, not too bad. It was too short again. <laughs> did you go down to your mother's? Uh, not this weekend. I did last week. Oh, yeah. He has a great a attitude. Like... He's always happy. <laughs> he's never complaining. Like, he's just awesome. He's, uh, he's an example for anyone, really, because he's a you know big role model. Because uh, he gets out, he blocks shots still, he's, not, he's fearless. He goes out with the boys after, has a great time. So. Yeah, no, he's, uh, he's amazing, and uh, like you said, he doesn't give up. He keeps on trying. And you're an example to us all. Oh, don't fall like I do. <laughs> <laughs> Always doing stuff with the kids uh, every weekend. Uh, even on Facebook, I have them all the time, and uh, you see the pictures out doing stuff with the family. It's amazing, and you know, and with his friends as well. Thanks, guys. <laughs>